it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we have the second of our acetate cards from our acetate series of three and I've got a piece of A4 here and I'm going to cut that down to make it into a five by seven card once it is scored. So I'm going to take that and cut it to the ten inches so that when it's scored in half it will be five inches across and then seven inches on this side and score it down at the five inch mark now just when you score on acetate just be careful at the top edge here that you don't catch the top I would start slightly down there we go and hold on to it because it has a habit of moving about and then you lose it okay and then folding it, you fold it the way it wants to go. Unlike card, we kind of fold it against the card where we score. So now we have our five by seven card. So it's gonna, I'm gonna have it um, as a uh, portrait card. So I'm gonna have it that way. And you can see it's quite a nice density card stock. So I'm gonna pop this to one side for the moment because I don't need this bit for the moment. So I'm gonna pop that to one side. And I'm gonna bring in my white piece of paper. And also I've got this gorgeous holographic silver. So I'm gonna use that as well. And I need to cut both of these to the five inches across. Right. Okay, so we've got a one and a half by five inches and two inches by five inches. And then what I've got is these fab scissors by Martha Stewart. So I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna just snip. And so some will be a bit longer than others. And then I'm gonna pull out some of the pieces in there as well. I don't want every single one there. I'm gonna do the same on our silver here. And then I was gonna pull some pieces out on this one, but I'm just gonna look at it like that. I think I want to chop some of the top off that one to make it a bit shorter because after all I think I, the two inches is a bit taller than I think that's going to look really pretty so that's good okay so again now put those two pieces to one side so at the, this point we're just prepping things really. so the next thing I want to do is make myself um, a butterfly so I've just drawn that out as a rough shape folded it in half and then I'm just going to cut around. So there's our little butterfly. And I think that looks really pretty. And there's our second one. So we've got one white one, one silver one. So I may put them together or I may use them offset. But again, I'm going to put those to one side. Okay, so now we need to bring back in my pieces and my card and start constructing it. So I've got my bits of grass obviously my card base and then I've got a little sentiment that I picked up here which says special day and obviously my little butterflies and then I've got some lovely white flowers here just a little selection of flowers which I shall use to put on the card as well so the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to put my grass down so I'm going to start with this piece here and I'm going to use my glue gel because that gives me some movement to just wiggle things around how I want them. I'm just going to put a small amount on the bottom here and then pop that in position on the bottom of my card here. I don't want the grass part stuck down. I'm quite happy with that being loose. I'm then going to take the next section and just, again, small amount of glue gel. There we go. And then 
I want to put my put my flowers on next. And I'll put some pearls and things in those in due course so that they look a bit more finished in the centre. Oh yep, that'll do it me fine. So then just taking a tiny blob of the glue gel on the back of each flower and popping those in place. There we go. So that's our flowers in position. And then the next thing I need to do is put my sentiment in position because that will affect where I'm going to put my butterfly. See that looks fab. Okay, and then we've got my butterfly. butterflies in fact. I've got my silver one and my white one and I'm going to put the white one up the top there I think and the silver one down there. Just a bob of glue Whoa. <laughs> on that back piece there. We don't need that bit. So that it lifts that wing up so we have that like that and then I don't want that bit because that's a bit of dried glue so we'll just get rid of that and then that was about here if I remember rightly well it is now anyway <laughs> and then we'll pop that in position like so there we go so that's those all glued down so now I need to start with my pearls. So I've got these self-adhesive pearls and I'm going to use, I've got some bigger ones and I've got these smaller ones. So I'm going to use the bigger ones in the centre of my little um, flowers and my butterflies just to create that bit of decoration. So I'm literally just going to take my pearl onto the back of my craft knife here or not and then pop them into the center of the butterfly. put the pearls into the center of the flowers so again on this one I want the bigger pearls for that okay so there's the flowers done so now I want to take the smaller pearls and just create a trail now and this just helps give you where you need to go just makes it a little bit easier and obviously you don't need to follow every single piece of that but it just makes that a little bit simpler for you so then we're going to get the smaller pearls and just pop those roughly around that line again as I say it's not uh, meant to be perfect okay and then I can use the same little swirl to do that one down there okay so that's the last of the pearls done. okay so the very last thing that I want to do now I think is just add the glitter to this card so I've got my lovely little crystal sticker stickles here but you could again use glitter and your zig glue pen so you've got other options there but I'm going to use the stickles and I'm literally going to take that and just put stickles onto my flower here. I think that looks so pretty. So I'm going to do that on all of those. And originally I was going to put it on the grass as well. And I probably, actually I will put some on the grass. Let's do the flowers though. Let's get one. Um, I'll do a little bit on the grass here. Just to make it look pretty so 
little bit along the bottom there. Very thin on the grass. I'm not really kind of building it up on the grass. On the flowers, I'm giving it a little bit of thickness of the stickles, but on the grass, it's just like really thin, just to give it like a hint. And I'm just kind of almost doing like the centerpieces of the butterfly to look like that slightly different colour that you get on the butterfly. So there we go, and, and you can just hopefully catch there where I've just kind of made it look like the butterfly and then on there and then of course on this it's really sparkly so that's our finished card and the second in our acetate series so I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me and I'd love to see any acetate cards you've been making um I'd love to hear your comments and I will see you again soon thanks so much for watching bye